The average V8 motor weighs around 500 pounds. However, however, Helix's new electric motor, which is about this big, it weighs just 62 pounds and it has 872 horsepower. Now that means if you had four of these, weight would still be only 240 pounds or half the weight of a V8 engine and you would have nearly 3,600 horsepower. Did I mention that EVs are a lot faster than gasoline-powered vehicles and a lot better? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and I think when people say EVs are boring, Teslas are boring, they're white goods, they're, there's no emotion, there's no passion, there's no soul. Those people are just short-sighted. They don't like change. That's what people used to say about motor cars back when people started buying them and the average person was riding a horse. Cars have no soul. The horse, just think man and horse, man and beast. They share an emotional connection. You can't get that with a motor car. That's what people used to say, seriously. British electric motor company Helix has just unveiled an innovative an incredibly impressive new motor that's set to power a forthcoming electric hypercar project. The motor has been developed by Helix's X division, which focuses on its most extreme projects. Carscoops.com says it has developed a motor known as SPX177 that weighs 61.7 pounds. That's 28 kilograms, or as much as some electric bicycles. It can deliver 650 kilowatts, which is 872 horsepower, making it the most powerful electric motor ever created by the company. There are actually more powerful electric motors than this, which is staggering. Now, apparently, this new electric motor will go into an electric supercar soon. But imagine this. Put one on the front, one on the back. is still looking at 56 kilograms of weight for a total of 1,750 horsepower. Development of the motor was led by Derek Bailey, who previously worked on Formula One units at Mercedes AMG high performance powertrains. So this guy is basically a guru for internal combustion engine vehicles. And then he's gone, no, 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 this is not the future and moved into what he perceives as the future, which is obviously building these incredible new electric motors. It's small and it weighs just 41 kilos if you include the 13 kilo inverter. So in total, if you include the inverter, it weighs 90 pounds. It is a 2X three-phase motor, so two times three-phase motor. So its current is shared across two inverters, a necessary approach to meet the phase current demands at normal DC voltages at this extremely high power level. Both the motor and inverter have extremely high power density, Six high voltage cables connect the inverter to the motor, while an LV connector carries the various control signals. Helix was initially contacted by a hypercar builder with a peak power figure in mind and demanded a very high steady state output. To meet the company's requests, Helix needed to design an architecture that minimizes losses and heat. Testing of the motor has already shown that it can produce well over 700 kilowatt or 940 horsepower of peak power and it hasn't been pushed to its limits meaning it could potentially put out a thousand horsepower just from this single 28 kilogram electric motor the british firm says that compared to the powertrain of the mclaren artura its electric motor weighs one seventh of its combustion motor while producing more power admittedly the battery pack of the hypercar will that it will power is set to weigh much more than the Arturus fuel tank, but it remains incredibly impressive how much power can be extracted from a small and very powerful light electric motor like this one. Just imagine how much power these motors will have in five or 10 or 20 years from now, or you know, when your grandchildren are alive, imagine the kind of motors, electric motors that will be in existence because you already get a feeling of nausea, even in just a standard Tesla Model 3 performance, which can do zero to 62 miles an hour, zero to 100 in around 3.2 seconds. 
they can already make you feel sick. Imagine two of these in a hypercar weighing, say, 1,500 kilos or around 3,000 pounds. Maybe potentially a car like that could do 0 to 62 in around 1.7 seconds, meaning, well, if you don't throw up on the first run, you probably would after a few. Let me know your thoughts on this either way. Clearly, gasoline-powered vehicles just cannot possibly compete with this, and that's why Dodge, even Dodge themselves, you know, Dodge are obsessed with V8s, supercharging, muscle cars. Even they said, we've reached the limits of internal combustion engine power. Next up is the electric motor. These are amazing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.